Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to my crafting world. This is Anna. So I said I was going to show you how to make the um, the box or the boxes that fit inside a flat priority mail box uh, from, from the post office. The priority mail flat, medium flat rate box. Oh my gosh. Try to say that three times. For me, that's difficult. Anyway, so let me see what's distracting. Okay, so anyway, this is what you're going to need. You are going to need one piece that uh, measures eight by five. This is your bottom piece. And then you need two pieces that measure, these are the side pieces that are gonna go right here on the side. They measure eight by six and a half. And then um, on the short side, you're gonna score at three and you're gonna score it at six. Okay, and you need two of those. I've already done uh, part, of the, part of the work here just to make the video go a little bit quicker. All I did on, on this piece was I tapered these ends. That's all I've done. Scored it, three, six, tapered the ends. That's all I've done. Now for the short side of the box, which is this end up here, you need two pieces that are uh, six by six and a half, okay? And then on the um, six inch side, you score, well, okay, so along three sides, uh, half an inch, half an inch, and then half an inch at the bottom. This one automatically scores for you when you put your, let me get my school board. Okay, so on the six and a half inch side, you're gonna score at three and you're gonna score at six. Okay, so that automatically gives you that half inch on the bottom. So then you flip it over and you score it half an inch and then you score it five and a half. That'll give you half an inch on each side. Okay, and then for your lid, you're going to need a piece that is 10 and one eighth by seven and one eighth and then you're gonna score one inch on all four sides. So again, you're gonna take your scoreboard and you're gonna um, score it one inch, flip it over one inch, flip it over one inch, and then flip it over one inch. And here all I've done was I, I've notched out a little bit, um, just a, a little sliver on each corner here. And if you do, it doesn't matter which corners you do, but you have to do the opposite. So if you do this corner, you gotta cut this corner. This corner, this corner. So I chose this side. So you have to do it parallel to, um, to each side, okay? So let's put our box together. I need my bottom piece, which is uh, eight. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to do one thing to the side pieces, the short side pieces. The short side pieces, we're gonna cut this out, this tiny square, and on, again, on each side. And again, I have tapered these just a little bit, just so that there isn't so much bulk when you go to put them together. And um, right here, all I did was cut right down the center of the score line. That's all I did. You don't taper the sides because these are the inside of your box. So there's that, there's this one, and there's that one. So you have something that looks like this. Okay. So what we do, we have to, let me take, we're going to do the, the top pieces in a little bit, but we're going to work with the bottom and the two sides. So we have to, you know what guys, I need my little mat here so that I don't mess up my table, okay? So we are going to burnish our, um, our pieces here. So th remember the bumpy side goes, um, that's where you're, fold, you're gonna fold into. So since this, this is gonna be on the outside, I'm going to erase this guys just because, um, I will probably use it at some point. Okay, so we are going to 
fold our in, our pieces in our fold lines. So I'm gonna fold those really, really well. There's that, and then there's this one. And then this one. All right, so what we do here you can use a uh, wet or dry adhesive, that, that's your preference. I am going to use wet. I am going to glue this down right here. And my flap, my connector is going to go at the bottom. You can put it on the inside, but then uh, I didn't do that because I didn't wanna have to line the inside as well. So I'm going to, again, your bottom eight by five. I'm going to erase that. Okay. And I am going to put glue on my flap. I'm right-handed, so I have to turn my little flap around or my side. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Now, what I did was I took my bottom and I folded this up a little bit try to stay in frame here and I lined the bottom with my side I don't need it to go over I need it to stay right at that fold line and the way I got that was making sure that it didn't go over by folding this crease up okay so there is my first one okay now I'm going to do the next one, which is, again, this is gonna eventually go in like this. So this is my next side. Okay, so here we go. Again, I fold it up, make sure that I have it even, and I don't go over that score mark. And there we go. That's our next piece. Now, I'm not going to glue these down just yet because they're going to hide a little something on the inside. So that right here is part of your box. Okay. So the next piece that we are going to do is the six by six and a half. This one's the one we did have to cut a little bit out of. And I'm going to quickly as quick as I can burnish my score marks okay now this one is my bottom piece right here so I'm going to add glue and hold it up to make sure that it doesn't go past that score mark and glue that down Okay, hopefully I will, you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, line up your edges as well. Make sure your edges are lined up and you are straight. Okay, and this is why we, you know, miter or taper the edges so we don't have too much bulk. Um, but yeah, there you go. So let me do the other one. And this is not gonna be perfect, guys, because I'm trying to rush, because I want you to get an idea of what I'm doing here and how to build your own for those medium flat rate boxes. Okay, here we go. Put that in there. It's nice and straight to me. Okay, so there's there's our box. Now, before I forget, I did trim this down just a tiny bit so that it wouldn't fold over the edge, the bottom edge. Like that, just 
that much it wasn't it wasn't much at all just because i don't want it to touch the bottom edge and maybe you know it bulk bulk up a little bit or bow out is what i'm looking for i'm gonna do the same i don't think it needs it but you know we do have a fold lines that do take up some space Okay, I'm going to do this one as well. And I'm just taking off very little, it's not very much. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to start to assemble my box. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these in. Okay, so the outside can be, and I put glue on this side now this is the side that we're going to glue into our inside onto our inside flap and I'm going to hold it there just for a little bit so that it doesn't move on me when I go to press it I think it's good okay there is that one I'm going to do this one next There's this one. Okay, now that one's down. I'm gonna press it down anyway from the inside. Now I need to do, pull these back just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I need to glue these down as well. down this way all right and I'm just pressing it in on the inside with my hand okay now this is the last flap that needs to go down so I'm going to put glue on this one one down okay all right there we go guys now we need to glue these flaps there's the inside there are our are our glue tabs right here but we're gonna hide those in just a little bit so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna leave these for last. I'm going to glue down the long ones first. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here because it looks like it might be coming up. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to fold this in and make that, create that double wall. It's got a nice finish to it. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna do the next longer one. And I am using art glitter glue. You guys know that's my favorite. So let's fold this down. I'm going to just Burnish that down a little bit. There we go. Nice and sturdy. Now we'll do the short sides. It really doesn't matter what side you do first. It's just your preference. Whatever you prefer. And I prefer the long ones first because they're... You know, they're longer and it takes not more effort, but I think it's easier, in my opinion, for me. 
Okay, there's that one. And then we will glue the last flap down. And the last flap right here. There's the bottom half of our box, guys. You can do a little bit better on the gluing than I can, but I was trying to hurry up. But there you go, guys. This is the bottom of our box. And it's double wall, so it's very, very sturdy. Okay? So, that's the bottom of our box. Now, for the lid of our box, we need the 10 and 1 8 by seven and one eighth. And of course, we're gonna score one inch all the way around. And you need that one eighth of an inch so that when your box lid is on your box, it's nice and snug. If you don't want it as snug, you can make it like um, 10 and a quarter by seven and a quarter, which will, for me, it's too loose, but you can make it um, bigger than what I just posted. So I'm going to go ahead and burnish these ends. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I, I am going to glue all these little flaps in this way to form our lid. And just make sure that you've got your your lid nice and square okay because I mean with the tapering of the ends there it kind of throws you a little bit just use your best judgment and the way I line and the way I do mine is if the top lines up I'm probably square if the lid you know if the top flap that you uh, fold in. If it lines up with the longer flap, then you're probably pretty straight. Again, I'm going to line, line my, my ends up and that gives me a straight top edge. And that forms our lid, guys. Let me show you how snug that fits. That is a snug fit. Look at that, perfect. I love it. I So you make three of these and it'll fit into your medium flat rate box. And then, you know, your mats. So you know that this is a seven and a half, or seven, I'm sorry. You know that this is eight, eight by five. So you wanna cut your mats maybe a quarter of an inch smaller. So my mats, that's all I did. I did four and three quarters by seven and three quarters. And that will give you a little edge. Of course, you know, that, that preference is up to you on how much of your edge you want showing. So my, edges here for the lid they are one inch so I would go three quarters of an inch by uh, seven and, and three quarters because my my lid is eight inches long so I would do seven and three quarters by three quarters of an inch um, and then on the bottom again your preference I didn't like the, this looked unfinished to me that's why I lined all of mine with a mat so that it would look more finished. It would look, it have a, sorry about that guys. It, it has a better look for me. And then my side mats, um, I did, I believe it was two and three quarters. Let me, let me look at my notes guys. My mats I made, um, okay. So the mat for my lid and the bottom, right here, I cut at seven and three quarters by four and three eighths. 
or I'm sorry, four and, th uh, four and three quarters. Seven and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then for the sides on my box, I cut seven and three quarters by, um, I'm sorry, yeah, seven and three quarters by two and three quarters. Okay, and on the short side, I did four and three quarters by two and, and three quarters. Okay, and then for my uh, lid, I did seven and three quarters by three quarters of an inch wide. And then on this side, I did four and three quarters by three quarters of an inch wide. You know, I'm gonna put the measurements in the description box. That way um, you don't have to um, try to figure out what I'm saying. So that is the box that will fit three in your um, medium flat rate box. Okay guys, I hope you find this helpful. Three of these boxes will fit into your medium flat rate box. All right guys. Thanks again for watching and y'all have a great day.